Hey everybody, welcome back. We're, we're crushing it, man. What can you say? I, we're not supposed to say what can you say anymore, because just because I say it so much, but... Ah, no! How dare you? How dare you? Um, so that's Tainted Laz, okay? To the Beast. The Beast is true ending. Could be worse. Well, worse is maybe relative. Ubermom is more annoying, for sure. No enemies, please. Thank you. Um, I don't... You know what? I'm gonna take them. Let, let's have some fun. Range up, HP down, HP up. Alright. So, all of that was for a range down. I guess it could have been worse. We could have just not gotten our HP back. So, I'll, I'll take it, I suppose. I do need to say, I, I believe that Tainted Lazarus has been changed. Um, because the, in today's... Uh, it, uh, world, it, oh, uh, anything ever being difficult means we, no, actually, it's like a big positive, I think, that it changed. The way I understand it, I'm gonna just go ahead and take that with you. The way I understand it, man, this guy, he's getting whipped around here. If we take this and then flip, we'll get another item, I think? You can, like, you can see that item behind it, right? Like, it's Zodiac. So, like, I'll take this. That was actually pretty great. We flip, we get Zodiac. I'm not necessarily thrilled with Zodiac, but... Like, it is something, at the very least. I always like to check to see if it's Leo. Everything else, like, we can passively accrue the benefits, but Leo, I like to check. Um, I, w I actually think that this works with a, a battery charge. Or, like, maybe we want to get a battery charge because I think it works on our shop. Uh, or on our boss room. Sorry, sorry. I'm trying to delete it. Um, I think it works on our boss room as well. I see a rainbow poop here. I also see a little silhouette of a man. I don't know if, if anybody else has, like, perhaps written a song about that. It's kind of crazy, though, when, you know, Queen says, Scaramouche, Scaramouche, shall we do the Fandango? Isn't that a site where you buy movie tickets? Like, I guess he's asking Scaramouche out on a date or something like that. Then maybe they're gonna go see a movie called Thunderbolts and Lightning. That's a, a horror movie because it's very, very frightening. Could that be? Could such a thing be possible? Many people are saying this, allegedly. Um, we should not. I don't know where the secret room is here. There, there's a few different options because there's no like triplicate position. Looking for some coins, just trying to see if maybe we don't have to do this, but that's fine. Let's do it. Only takes us to nine cents, but that's okay. Because I do believe, like I said, I do believe this will allow us to get two items from our uh, boss, which will be nice. I mean, this is a much... Like, I'm going to just be real with you. It's very easy. I mean, it, it, like, people are never happy, right? Myself included. Like, you get adjusted to positivity so quickly that it just moves, like, your window for what you complain about. You know, everybody complains. There, I don't... There's not that many people on Earth that never complain. Like, Dan is, is almost allergic to complaining. That's not to say he doesn't feel negative about things, but I think... You know, he, he really doesn't take pride in complaining. I'm like the exact opposite. I'll complain about anything. But the thing that's worth noting... Maybe it's only item rooms, actually. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's... I mean, we would see the faint outline there. So I really would have rather had the speed as the other character, but it seemed worth it to check. Um, but I think, like, except for Dan, pretty much everybody on planet Earth complains. You just complain about the things that are negative to your own life. So, like... When you're, uh... It, it, it might sound bizarre. But, you know, as mentioned, we had pretty, like, a, a stressful... Couple of days trying to get back to Canada. Weirdly enough, I feel like I was, like, less complainy about that than I was when I was at my baseline. I was more, like, thankful for the, like, we, you know, went for, like, an hour and a half drive into the, the Seattle proper. Struggled to find parking. Found parking. Seattle is, like, already annoying to navigate. No disrespect to Seattle, Seattle Tonians, but, you know, it, it accidentally found myself going through, like, a... It, the navigation system was, like, 
stay, keep left to stay on the current road. I stayed on the current road, and it put me inside of a tunnel that was like three miles long, took me through the entire downtown core, and, and went like, you know, I don't know, 26 right turns past our exit. Even still. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, man, we really don't want this as our as our other character, but like, what can you do, I guess? Um, that's something to complain about, but rather than complaining, I was legitimately like, oh, thank God they were able to see us, you know? In a weird way, I almost feel like the when things are going pretty well, there's a, you, there's a lot more complaining. Oh, it took me 20 minutes to get seen at the deli counter today. Oh, boo-hoo. When things are going, like, terrible, maybe it's a personality thing, but when things are going terribly, that's when I'm much more likely to be like, oh, thank God, like, you know, that we were able to eat lunch today. It's weird, right? I don't know. But what I was going to say with respect to Isaac, which nobody cares about probably, <laughs> is, uh, or few, few care about, let's put it that way, few care about. Let's see what we got. We might as well check. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, oh, there's two items on deals with the devil now. What? I can't swap, which is a real shame because it would have been awesome to, to flip here. Um, I wonder if this door will stay open. All right. Well, that answers that question. That's great to know for the future, though. Uh, but what I was going to say with, you know, from the perspective of Isaac was like Tainted Lazarus. It's also easy to look at this character now that, I mean, we've already done all the super hard stuff that you needed to do. It's easy to look at that, I think, and be like, oh, they never should have changed it. You know, it kind of like cheapens what I did. Nah, this character was like pure anus. Okay, one, two, three, go. I think that's good. <laughs> what what the heck? Why what okay, I, I gotta look up Tainted Lazarus Birthright. Birthright. It works as every character now, right? Lazarus Grants a 21.6 damage bonus that slowly fades until the effect Wait, so it's uh it's red stew. Un unless this wiki is wrong right now. Which could absolutely be false, but um, let, let's check uh, Platinum God. Isaac Cheat Sheet. I'm trying to find Birthright. Just give me a moment. Birthright. I mean, it's a tough one to... to it's like an essay, right? I guess you could just search Birthright. Tainted Lazarus. The inactive character moves alongside you like Esau, can fire tears, but is immune to damage. Yeah, that seems like way more likely to be the case of what's happening here. Based on uh, the fact that it's obviously beside me right now. But yeah, they, like, Tainted Laz needed a buff. It was a character that was just no fun. You needed to have such an unbelievably uh, positive run in order to get into a position where, like, you had any chance to reasonably succeed, that I, I feel like it was just, I mean, it, it was just a character that was not enjoyable. Yo, wait, because they're following me around. Let's go, dude, look at this. Look at this. Hold on, okay, you, you can't pick anything up. What, what if we do this, though? Hold on, hold on. They can't go through doors. I was hoping that they could fit through the cursed room door for me. It's true. I was trying to get uh, money for nothing. Still, having, like, I don't know. It's actually a little scary to have Leo available at all times, but... Um, okay, now this is open again. Wait a minute. No, no, no. We gotta be... <laughs> oh, the pedestal's gone. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. Once you leave the room, it doesn't apply anymore. Okay. Um, but this, I mean, that birthright seems kind of crazy, right? For, like, I mean, it basically is... Maybe double damage is not an acceptable way to think about it, but it's kind of close to double damage. That's extremely uh, uh, bullish for the, the beast fight, I would say. Anyway, doing well here. Um, you know, still a little mucusy for sure. It's the same day, like I'm recording this maybe two or three hours after the last uh, video. 
Still a little mucusy, but but genuinely like feeling pretty good, honestly. Thank you, thank you. Certainly like much less like feverish than than yesterday night where I was like literally I was basically like uh useless. Which is fine, you know, I don't wanna I guess I shouldn't maybe project the idea that if I'm uh ill with the flu or whatever, that that's uh, equivalent to being a useless human being. Um, but from the perspective of like emptying the dishwasher <laughs> and, you know, helping my wife with the, uh, you know, domestic responsibilities normally befitting uh, an adult. Uh, yeah, it wasn't exactly like pulling 100% of my weight. Um, but to, I mean, I'll tell I was so feverish, I actually watched like half of the Canucks game, which is very rare for me. Um, mostly because the team stinks. Hold on. HP up, speed down. Nothing of value is lost. This would be a great time to get Guppy's head. One, wait. One, two, three. One, two, three, go. Oh no. Still, this is, at some point, we did want to swap. That's fine. Uh, so that we could get Yum Heart on you. And I actually feel, so I'm trying to think, magic skin. It takes an HP, or it takes a heart container permanently. Which is not great. But it gives you an item from whatever pool you're in. And with Glitched Crown, I feel like that's even, like, more cracked. Because an item pedestal that has five possible options is that much more likely to provide something, like, truly game-breaking. Uh, so I don't want to use Magic Skin willy-nilly, that's for sure. But to use it in, like, appropriate situations on Angel... Well, I guess we're not going to get Angel deals, but on Devil deals would be nice. I'm saving my flip as well, because... We're gonna need the flip, uh, I mean, in this situation, just to be honest, I would much rather, oh my god, that was like almost 30 cents there. Um, I would much rather get a, a second guaranteed deal with the devil item pedestal, than get a, uh, a, a second item pedestal in the item room, but admittedly, like, this is a little crazy, like the... This, uh, we, we got a lot of moving parts here, but, you know, the Law of Isaac basically holds true regardless. Um, and, and what's the Law of Isaac? Uh, the more items you have, the more likely you are to win, I think. One, I'm going for Binky. One, two, three, go. Yeah, there we go. Still got it. Back on top. <sighs> I would love to get Lusty Blood. One, two, three, okay. One, two, three. <laughs> it wasn't even close. Um, I think we should take both, though. Hold on. I, and I don't even remember what half this stuff does. I didn't get Guppy's head, did I? No, no, no. Okay, so do we really want Guppy's tail? I think we could live with Guppy's tail or Too Spooky. One, two, three, go. There we go. He's still got it. Then, this is exactly the point. I was going to say, flip me. We, I think, maybe we don't want Yum Heart. Flip me. This is not going to make us guppy, presumably. But we still, I mean, we got to take two. Yeah, our, our odds of becoming, oh, wait, hold on. Our odds of becoming guppy have got to be, like, so high. I think we want, like, uh, Dark Matter or maybe Brimstone Bombs. One, two, three, go. There, okay, there, look. Not everything there was perfect. But there's a lot to be thankful for there. We got, um... A Tears upgrade as one of our units and the Guppy item. We got a Damage upgrade on one of our units, and two guppy items. Jeez Louise, man. Okay, I mean, like, it's... The mental overhead here is quite high, but... One... Two... 
three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Um, maybe, uh, honestly, I think we want more options. So our item rooms might have, like, technically four pedestals. One, two, three, go. Okay, 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 okay. Now, wait, is there a battery charge available? This is too much work. I'll just, I'm, I'm having a fantastic time. This is a great run. It's uh, very enjoyable. But also, I, uh, I, the glitch crown plus the tainted Lazarus here is, I'm very thankful for what it's providing me. And I am also, uh, yeah, simultaneously accepting of the fact that it's, uh, it's a little tricky to manage all these moving parts at once. Okay, honestly, you got me. Congratulations. I don't think we will be, uh, getting... Well, like, there's no battery charge for us, right? If there's no battery charge for us, so be it. Life goes on. Secret room, perhaps? No? Okay. We might as well just look. Um, again, very difficult, but I see some amazing items. Wafer's great. Uh, Dead Eye is great. I might be inclined to take Dead Eye, honestly. For here, I think Infestation 2 beats Crack the Sky. One, two, three, go. Oh, you can only. T that's right, that's right. I bet you can't walk the other one in either. Well, in that case, I, I, out of these, I mean, let, let, if we're looking at it realistically, our, our items of choice there were like Dead Eye. Infestation 2 and the Wafer. I could be persuaded to believe that I made the uh, the best choice. Like, I, I think Infestation 2 is is one of the best, like, damage accelerants in the whole game. So, certainly I have no no complaints there. I also think, as, as much as it looks like it's probably tough to become Guppy, I actually don't think it's the case. I, I think it's going to be pretty easy. Mostly because we're getting deals with the devil every single floor thanks to Goathead. And then we also have Glitch Crown to give us, uh, you know, the choice of many, many different items. And then we also have uh, Magic Skin to create even one pedestal further. So we want... No, you are... Who are you? You're... I'm just, I'm lost for a second. Your fate, I want to I wanna take you into the item room first because you could get guppy if there's a guppy item. So let's look at this realistically. Left pedestal, the best item is probably the biohazard. Right pedestal, holy water is legitimately like pretty good. Infamy is pretty good. But I, if I'm being realistic, I think a flip might be high value here. Wow, um, and you don't have glitched crown, so uh, we'll just give you tech X. <laughs> that seems pretty good. Uh, yeah, I think tech X plus uh, plus infestation two is a pretty strong start. You know what? This is a very very fun run. Little bit unusual for sure. Um, maybe highly unusual, and not every. Uh, not every run is gonna, with Tainted Laz, is gonna have, you know, Glitch Crown Goathead. More options. But the ones that do are, are doing some serious work, that's for sure. Um, oh, careful. Certainly feeling uh, like we're pretty potent here. I don't think they've made this character too easy. I think it's just a situation where maybe, you know, this one specific run is going a little bit, you know, better than any one person could possibly have expected. I gotta remember, we're still, we're going to the beast. We want to have as much HP as is possible. Obviously, we, we always want more damage, but that's the balancing act. Hello? What, what a deke, what a deke. Are you kidding me? I mean, I guess I could get closer, but there's like a little, there's a little risk. Maybe not as much as I thought. Hey, you can't be mad at me. I'm sick. I'm sick. Uh, cough, cough. I can't, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, 
I mean, for seven cents, for sure. I mean, battery pack is pretty interesting. I also see that there's nun's habit. I can't see what that other item is up there. The one that's in the background faintly, but there, certainly that's nun's habit and maybe like broken modem. I, I can't really tell. Um, I think we want Pandora's box though. So that's one, two, three, go. Then I would say just pop it, man. Okay, uh, I guess, like, restock is kind of sick here, as long as you don't care about, um, your life. There is a damage upgrade, but restock with, with the, what we got financially here seems kind of sick. One, two, three, okay. <laughs> we could flip and still get nuns habit, uh, for sure, but, okay, what do we want here? I guess, <laughs> let's make it even more complicated. No, you know what? Jar of Flies would actually be sick instead of Gallo. Okay. One, two, three. I'm going to try again. One, two, three, go. Okay, I made a mistake here. That's fine. What is that? It's Mom's Purse. Okay. I think I want the gift. One, two, three, go. Okay, mystery gift. Can't afford anything else in there just yet. Do we want to use Mystery Gift here? No, I certainly feel like it would be much better to use it for our deal with the devil. I also feel like the coupon would be kind of sick for our deal with the devil. But maybe for our next deal with it. I'm trapped! This run is, is very quickly becoming almost too difficult for me to like keep all the information available. Um, but I'm certainly, like, having a great time. <laughs> this is honestly, like, we've been have, have, after a really, really depressing run of form in Isaac, where I feel like I played badly, but also do have to acknowledge, like, I think there's such a thing as taking too much responsibility. If you look, oh my god, okay, just think about this for one second. One, two, three, go. Oh, I got stuck on the thing. One, two, three, go. Okay, it's bro I, I went a little too fast. I wanted the TNT, obviously. Um, like, you know, there, there's people out there that take no responsibility for anything. They're called streamers. Uh, and then there's also people out there who take too much responsibility. They'll be like, you know, sorry, it's raining. And you're like, well, you can't really, like, you know, you don't need to apologize for that. You're, you don't control the weather. I don't think you were shooting, like, you know, particulate silver into the clouds in order to get it to rain or anything like that. Like, you know, I, I understand that it's, it's not ideal sometimes when it's raining, but simultaneously, it's not your fault in the slightest. So I, I honestly, you know, think I need to note that, like, I didn't play my best Isaac in the month of November, but we did have some runs that were, like, pure you-know-what as well. Like, just insane garbage. And it feeds into itself, you know? The more garbage runs you have, the less you're, like, you know, really eager to be like, yeah, let's spend a whole bunch of time, like, trying to get every single advantage out of this floor. Wow, that was so close to me getting hit there. Um, so I'm still happy to have the gift. We certainly don't want to leave the floor yet. I don't want to activate my item upon taking damage. That seems absolutely horrendous. Um, I think we got to do this floor, then maybe go back and try to get the coupon. Or do, the, do this uh, boss fight. Get the deal with the devil. You know, use all the advantages we have, including the gift, including magic skin. And then, you know, take it from there. To lose magic skin but pick up coupon would actually be pretty good. Okay, so you, I mean, damage up would actually probably be best, even more so than HP plus trinket. One, two, three. I'm losing my edge. Uh... It's pretty hard to... Okay, um, like, I'm just gonna... Most important thing is if you see a guppy item, which we do, you really want to take it 
as the other character. But there's now that I realize when you flip, there's no way to do that. I think. Hold on. Okay, I, I let's leave this pedestal. It doesn't appear to have an item behind it, which means I think... But it'll probably cancel Glitch Crown. I don't know, man. It's a little crazy, right? Uh, I would like the mark. One, two, three, go. That, that went well. Wait, do I see? I see Guppy's paw. But Gu if we pick up Guppy's paw, it's go. Wait, whoa, whoa, okay, we can do this. We can do this. First, that you just got to get two right here, okay? Start with Guppy's paw. One, two, three, go. Okay, then you just need to get nine lives right here. One, two, three. I'm actually a mad genius. Are you seeing this? Are you, are you picking this up, man? Give me one of those. I didn't... We should have flipped, right? Wait, there's no... There were no pedestals. There were no pedestals left. Because they, they they had been passive items. I I would still... Oh, we didn't use magic skin! That's okay. We'll flip. Use magic skin. I wouldn't mind getting Book of Revelations, I guess, if we're not going to go back for, like, the coupon. Or Satanic Bible, I should say. One, two, three. I don't feel confident in this. Let's try again. <laughs> One, two. Wait, that was Abaddon. One, two, three, go. Beautiful. Get me out of here. I, we have become guppy with one character. I know that there's a five room, okay? At some point, you just got to make the decision to move on with your life. I think, so because we're Guppy with one character that has Tech X, we should pretty much be Guppy. Like, we should feel like we're Guppy all the time, even when we're the character that's not Guppy, because we have Birthright. <laughs> it's a little confusing, I'll admit. Um, which is great, but, I mean, I wouldn't mind becoming Guppy with the other character as well, if possible. That would also be fine. Do we have a charge ready? We don't. We're going to have to do a little backtracking first. So we got rid of magic skin. We got Guppy's paw. Admittedly, like, for no reason. Well, the reason was to become Guppy. There, there's worse reasons than that, for sure. At this point, I think this run could start to move really fast. I, I would not do you the disservice of essentially lying to you and saying, like, that this run's hyper-confusing and tough to understand. Like, Glitched Crown, like, the item pedestals are a little bit... You gotta use more thought than on your average Isaac run, but the... The actual, like, moment-to-moment -moment shooting is, is pretty simple. You pretty much, you know, just press the arrow keys. Okay, let's not get Magic Skin. It stalls here. Um, let's not get anything there. That all looks bad for three spirit arts. I don't want vengeful spirit. Seven seals, maybe, but, like, I'm not that impressed. That don't impress me much. Okay, there's a lot of magic skin. I wouldn't necessarily turn up my nose at Eye of Belial, but let's flip and see if we like anything else. Yes, yeah, certainly, um, I mean, dark arts is pretty good, but I'm not sold, man. We're just going to go to the item room, get the heck out of here. Maybe, maybe this is exactly what we needed. It was just like a floor where we're mostly just like relaxed. <laughs> After going a little hard on the last floor. I think we do want to flip, if possible, for, for the uh, item room at least. Like if we have to buy a uh, battery charge here, if we get the opera. Okay, well, it's, it's probably not going to happen. We'll just... Do a couple more rooms, I suppose. Honestly, a nice hit. Can't be mad. That's true. 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 That's true. Anyway, what I was going to say is... I, I don't think it's necessarily... Coherent. I, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? I think it would be misleading to say that like the new patch has revitalized my interest in Isaac. What I would say is that... Whatever, and I, I really think it's just variance. <laughs> like, getting a run of good runs, like a, a, a sequence of good runs, that then leads to me playing better because I'm having more fun, which then leads to 
you know, getting uh, some momentum because we've got multiple wins, which leads to me wanting to play better to keep, like, a streak going, you know? Like, some something that's happening in that vein is really, you know, starting to get me interested in the game again. Whereas there was, like, a, a few weeks where, admittedly, it was kind of becoming a slog. I, I felt like we had a number of runs in a row where we picked up either no HP, no damage, or both. And that's just not when the game is at its finest. This is a better example of when the game's at its finest. Is like, you know, with the, the variance is certainly working out, you know, in its favor right now. Can I tell you as well, like, Magic Skin, was that, I think I see Nod, Leaf back there, and, uh, and Scream. Neither of which are that valuable, but, um... I mean, out of out of any of these, that's Lodestone, right? I mean, Triple Shot is not so bad. Explosivo is not so bad. This is... I mean, maybe you take Scapular here, man. I don't know. I think I'm going to try for Triple Shot. One, two, three, go. All right, that seems fine. Um, like, the, the game is really able to kind of, like excel when you're focused more on uh you know the randomness aspect and like building a good run this is, the, the run that we have right now is really just like it's given us a lot of agency to build whatever we want to build i i remember there was nothing back there we wanted um not, not what we want to build but like it, it Choice is always, like, an advantage in these games, right? Like, that's why the, 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 uh... The D6 is, like, such a classic roguelite item. Is It's just fun to have the ability to say, like, Nah, I'll take my chances with, like, any other random item. And this, we got, like, the, to use, like, the most overused uh, cliche of all time, we have the D6 on steroids right now. We have... Uh, every item is actually one of five items that you have to do a quick time event to get the item you want. And then also, if you wanted to, you could press Q, and then there's two more items. Because it doesn't get the glitch crown effect. But So, uh, certainly, I would say car battery is insanely good here. But I, I let's, let's get there's options. One, two, three, go. I got magic skin. Uh, spider mod, magic skin. Spider mod, magic skin. Spider mod, magic skin. <laughs> I think... Uh, what if you flip me? What do we get out of that? It looks like mom's box of friends. Not that exciting. We got spider mod. I would definitely like champion belt or the... Uh, or the blanket, I think. Now, just keep in mind, we got to... We gotta leave this floor appropriately. By which I mean to say, we gotta take the Fool card. Which means we have to be able to use the Fool card after we kill the boss. Which might affect our ability to exactly use our flips in the way that we most desire here. We'd also like to buy a key. Is another thing that would be, like, high on the list. But, uh, let, let's go back to our shop first. Because I think we can afford one of these now. Champion belt would be sick. One, two, three. That's big. That's a very big pickup. I would not say no to Black Candle. Things are starting to get a little expensive. You know, we're paying like a 30% premium or something like that. Not necessarily. I mean, hey, if something's worth buying, it's worth buying when it's slightly more expensive, probably. I mean, most of the items that I'm happy to pay 15 cents for in this game are actually, like, worth, <laughs> like, 50 cents. <laughs> the items that I'm like, eh, 15 cents is okay, is, like, the latter. Where I'm like, ah, I can use this to get 15 cents worth of value immediately, but I'm not sold on it. You know, this is not a commodities trading game. This is a, uh, it's a game where you gotta shoot some enemies until they die. So that you gotta evaluate everything through that lens. I don't want to leave this room, like, or this floor yet. I want to make sure we're giving it our all. Definitely want to find that key. Again, I'm sure our our transformations are not going to work, like, quite as well as we want. Because we got to make sure that we're using that fool card to escape. But it is what it is. 
Lots of spiders, man. Pretty, pretty cool run, wouldn't you say? If you could guarantee that every Tainted Lazarus run would be like this, you would be very happy, I think. We also, like, I mean, sometimes I have fun, and then, uh, like, the beast comes around, and I stop having fun. I don't think it's going to be the case here. I think that... And I do want to say, like, the beast is, like, a, a really well-designed boss, particularly when compared to something like Delirium, for example. Um, the heck is hypercoagulation? When getting hit, spawn red hearts, sp spawn hearts, despawn. Okay, so I think it's like Maggie's, is like being tainted Maggie. I'll just take like a rotten baby, I think. What's the flip though? Maybe there isn't one? I'll just take rotten baby. One, two, three. Beautiful. We got our key back, so let's, this, this could be a secret room as well, I think. But uh, what I was going to say is that, like, the... I wasn't happy with that bomb. The uh, HP that that boss has is so high. Sometimes you get there, you get through the four horsemen, and you realize, like, I'm going to be here forever. I don't think it's going to happen this time. Well, the, out of all these, it's an easy choice. 2020 is your best item. One, two, three. Beautiful. 2020 gives us... Is this... It gives us stats ups? Has that always been the case? Now, our flipping is really weird. We're not going to be able to flip... To go to the devil deal. Yeah. Because we need to... Alright, I guess we could drop the fool card and then do whatever we wanted. Never mind. Again, my I'm much better today, like... Fever-wise. But I wouldn't say my brain's working at 100% capacity. Normally, I know people come to the channel, they expect, you know, Oh, a nuanced discussion of, uh, you know, black body radiation. Nah, oh, man, not today. Come on, man. Come on. Uh, maybe I'll, you know, regale you with the tale of Thatcher Demko's scorpion save against the Montreal Canadiens last night, but, like, that's about it. So we would probably, honestly, I don't know. This is a tough one. Damage is always nice, but I, I guess we would rather be, you know, permanent Polaroid invincibility on this character. Uh, there's an assortment of great items here. <laughs> to put it as lightly as possible, to understate it greatly. Uh, I need to flip to get out of here. Um, you should take... I think you should take Mom's Knife... And Tech X character should take Brimstone. One, two, three. That's that's horrendous. You you could take Succubus. One, <laughs> one, one, two, three. Okay. Oh no no. We still want Satanic Bible. Otherwise, I'd suck it up. Okay, let's switch back. And... <laughs> oh my god. What have you done? What have you done? Mom's knife and brimstone. We got neither mom's knife nor brimstone. Well, um... I guess I wouldn't mind taking Abyss. Sucking up two items. Getting two cool flies. I mean, like, that's a pretty good, uh... Like consolation prize is to get a really fun spacebar item that is also like still very good we don't necessarily deserve it but I'm thankful to have received it I still feel like I mean that was like a colossal it's not really I mean I don't know it depends how you think about errors right it wasn't really an error in judgment it was a complete error in execution but I think that's fine I don't know, man. Maybe we'll take our luck upgrade. One, two, 
three. We got it. Did I get, like, money equals power on somebody? Why are you getting, uh, like, stats from every item I pick up? Even when the items are, like, not relevant to those stats. You know what I mean? This is what, this would be a great run to have streamed, because people would instantly be like, oh, it's the interaction between these three items. Like, Glitch Crown, every time you pick up an item, you get stats. And I'd be like, oh, I didn't know that. Alas, it's not the case here. Stapler's pretty good. The sequencing on this one's kind of tough, though. You know what? We're not even going to do timing on this one, because it's, uh, it's just stalled. It's stalled on the magic skin, when it pivots, we get stapler. Bop, 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 bop. I'm actually a genius. That was pretty much perfect. <laughs> and I definitely think that was worth getting it over a fly, but like in a lot of situations, we will prefer the fly. We might as well, might as well create a cluster of six rocks that will often contain tinted rocks. You see some of my spiders are kind of trapped. That's okay. That hurts, but well, it'll last. No, no problems. I mean, I honestly, I don't know how many times I need to say it. This is a pretty incredible run, the whole scheme of things. Um, I guess we'll take PhD because we don't really want to. Uh, you know what? We could diplopia. <laughs> it's true. Uh, you know what? Let's get crazy. One. Two, three, and then just hear me out here. Okay, we don't really want anything that we do need another penny. Hopefully, it's contained here. Thank you so much. Um, I mean, out of these, I actually think we want to create magic skin. One, two, three. That's fine. Wasn't really what I was looking for, but that's fine. Let's let's diplopia. And now, like, life's a little confusing here. I accept that. I really don't want to lose our Satanic Bible. So I think we would be looking for, from this, we'd be looking for four and a half volt. One, two, three. That might come back to bite us a little bit. We don't care for any item from the left pedestal. So that's like a flip, you know what? Take Satanic Bible. Flip. There's another Satanic Bible here. But I think... You're just gonna do that. Incredible? Like, the... Uh, inspiring. This man keeps making the exact wrong decision in the game, and yet his run gets exponentially stronger nonetheless. It's kind of incredible, like this is... You know Luigi wins by doing nothing? In Mario Party uh, 2, I think it was. One, two, three. Well, uh, this is like the exact opposite of that. This is like Luigi wins by doing absolutely everything wrong. <laughs> I'm, I don't, I, I've missed... Probably 50% of my Glitch Crown pickups. Admittedly, Magic Skin is making it a little tougher. But also, admittedly, Magic Skin is also... Uh, Glitch Crown and Magic Skin are working so nicely together because it means that we're not exclusively getting Magic Skin out of every item pedestal, so I'm never going to complain about that. Anyway, I, I think we're in the clear, like, pretty much completely and fully. Uh... Even just killing that enemy so quickly is a great, like, proof of concept for us, but... Yeah, I, I don't think we'll lose. And moreover, like, this is the rare melange of, like, a short... Uh, or, sorry, the opposite. A long, like, tactical run in this game uh, that was also, like, very zany. Normally, like, when you get a long run in Isaac, there's no zane involved. It's just, like... 
I don't care for that, honestly. Uh, it, it's literally just like, let me, and then we'll go back here, and then we'll play the Blood Bank as many times as we can play the Blood Bank, and then we'll, you know, play the slot machine as many times as we can play the slot machine. Then we'll find the fortune teller in the second secret room. We'll put all our money in that. Then we ran out of money. We'll go back and we'll blow up the Blood Bank, and then we'll use the remaining money to play the fortune teller, and then it gave us, you know, blah, blah, blah. This was actually like, you know, every room was like, uh, was crazy time. Little overwhelmed. Like I would say, if I were uh, if I were reviewing this episode, I would say this is for advanced uh, gamers only. Casual gamers need not apply for this one, but certainly a great uh, a great proof of what Isaac is capable of when things go like completely right. <laughs> I also love the idea, and we, we, it's maybe theoretically still possible, and maybe we could have done it if we'd just done some things differently. Um, but I love the idea of getting Guppy on both characters independently. Try pajama. One, two, three. You know what? It's a ba, ba, ba. Uh, what are you doing? It wasn't even close. It wasn't even in the right ballpark, man. I'm second guessing myself. My rhythm's all off. You walk without rhythm, and you'll never attract the worm. What are you talking about? Just... Just relax, like, with this conversation every time. You know, we just had uh, American Thanksgiving. We all had these conversations around our dining room table. You are insane. Can we just, just chill out, man? Why don't you everybody just get along a little bit, okay? We're just gaming here. The Great Unifier Gaming. The one pastime nobody ever argues about. And yet you wanna you wanna bring all this drama into it and ruin it. What what's up with that, man? Just these conversations. What do you mean you spent it? Okay. We've we've gotten all of our items. You can tell, like, I'm fully out of uh like things to say. That's fine. <laughs> Get used to it if we're uh, trapped inside for a while <laughs> with the illness here. Um, just have to make up our own anecdotes. Like, dude, I tweeted it just before I started this run. I haven't seen how it's done. But, like, I... Uh, that's that's why I tweet, by the way. It's for metrics only. Um, no, it's actually quite the opposite. I've said before, like, you, you don't really get any benefit when your tweet does anything positive. You only get negatives... And I don't even mean, like, people being rude to you, like, intentionally, which happens all the time. People will be like, you know, you'll, you'll be like, I had a nice lunch today, and then they'll make it about them. Well, I didn't have a nice lunch today. Must be nice, you know, uh, Mr. Blah, 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 to have such a nice lunch. I didn't have, and I'm just like, I don't even, come on, man, I don't even know who you are. Just chill out a little bit. Just talking about having spent time with my family. You're going off about, you know, like, President Joe Biden or something. I don't even live in your dang country. You're getting in my mentions about all this stuff, but even apart from that, some you, you know, you, you, it's not like there's a monetary benefit to tweeting, right? Like on the, in an indirect way, there's like a wink and a nod, source dude just trust me, that like some of the people that see you will follow you, and some of the people that follow you, if they really liked your tweet, will go watch your stream, and like, you know, there's like maybe a, a, an insanely low, uh, trickle-down conversion rate there or something, but mostly I think that Twitter succeeds just as, like, a, a place where all of the things that, you you know, pop into your brain to say have an outlet to get out there, and then people can be like, that's not funny, or that's funny. But this isn't even really a joke. Um, you know, we've been watching a lot of Sesame Street with my daughter. We should have done literally one more room. That would have helped me out so much to get... Uh, to get the hero font on our other character. Do we want coat hanger? One, two, three. That's still pretty good. Uh, if we're gonna miss, at least it's not by that much. Um, we were watching Sesame Street. She loves the whole show, except every once in a while, this weird dude called Mr. Noodle shows up on Elmo's World. That's the easy, I'm actually dumb. No, wait, I'm actually a genius? 
Leave that on the ground? You Use this? No, I'm actually dumb. Then, suck this up. Then, sleep in the bed. Oh, wait, I should have slept in the other bed first. I could have gotten three extra spirit arts. That's fine, I'll take two extra spirit arts here. Do Amazing, Luigi wins by doing everything wrong. Um, but, like, for real, there's a guy called Mr. Noodle. He shows up during the segment known as Elmo's World. Um, and basically, I, I know, I, I think I talked about him in an earlier Isaac episode. But essentially, the whole... Oh, my God, I'm getting destroyed here. The whole thing with Mr. Noodle is, like, Elmo asks him to do a simple task. And he just does it wrong every single time. And is, like, a total weirdo about it. So, in a weird way, I, I find Mr. Noodle relatable. But he dresses very strangely. He dresses like like Pharrell Williams dresses, but he, he doesn't have the confidence to pull it off. So instead of looking freaking cool, he, he just looks like uh, like someone you'd be scared to run into in public. You know what I mean? You'd be like, this guy... I, look, all I'm saying is most people, you kind of see him, you get an idea of how they're going to act. Mr. Noodle is all twisted up. He's like a... He's like a, one of those twisty noodles, like maybe a fusilli or something like that. So I have to fast forward, and and like she's getting, you know, a lot smarter. Um, maybe that's like a rude way to describe it, but you know, she, you know, she's a baby. Every day she goes through cognitive development. She learns things. Her brain grows, you know, like one percent compounded daily. Um, so she's she's really. She's starting to pick things up at an alarming pace, right? So now, she used to just be scared when Mr. Noodle's on the screen. Now she's scared whenever she sees Elmo, because she associates the existence of Elmo with the possibility that this dude, Mr. Noodle, could show up at any minute. Like, the, soon we're going to have to just get, get uh, rid of Sesame Street completely in our, in our viewing habits. Because she's going to see, like, Abby or Big Bird, and then they're going to... Or Alan or something, and then they're going to talk... She's going to just assume that Mr. Noodle could show up at any moment. I, I mean, like, kids watching TV is just sort of funny, right? I remember my parents used to let me watch The Simpsons, but they would force me to fast forward through the itchy and scratchy stuff. It seems very quaint looking back. With the existence of, you know, the news, for example. <laughs> In terms of, like, <laughs> content that might have, a, you know, introduced your children to uh, violence or something like that. Vulgarity. Based, based. True, so true. That's true, true, true. Wait, you're, you're war, right? Dude, we're ripping through this boss fight. The other thing you gotta remember is that we have nine lives, so, like, literally... Um, as soon as we get through the horsemen, the fight's already over. Like, it's just a question of how long it takes to get the health bar down. If we're gonna have an hour-long run, like, this is the kind of hour-long run you want to see. Whoops. Whoopsie. Lot of choice, lot of Zane, lot of strategy, honestly. Not a lot of tactics, because, like, for the most part, we literally just, like, you know aimed at enemies and dodged which is typical but it's nice to have so much power while you're doing it and honestly kind of a sick birthright change imagine how much worse this would be if it actually made you into jacob and esau so like as soon as your ghost took damage uh, you actually lost hp oh man i would never recover from that i am too slow to escape here okay never mind i've teleported out I guess I was too close to him. That, that's fair. That's true. Where's my ghost? Oh, he's just chilling in there. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Let's... <laughs> what? How did I think... My ghost... Dude, my ghost is taking damage down there. It's not me, it's the ghost. Wait, but no, he's just... It's a glitch. It... Ooh. 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 Uh, uh, um... I don't know how many lives I'm losing. I had to swap, like... There you go, I, I had to swap to, to get myself out of the jam. 
What the heck, man? You almost, after such a great run, you almost screwed me with a little bug where the ghost still takes damage in lava when you got birthright. Anyway, we made it. That's eight wins in a row. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. See ya!